Today, we've spoken about uh, the investment DJI is making in our aerial platforms, and we've shown you some of the training tools that we're also developing. Now, to round this out, I'd like to say a little bit about the software investments that we're making as well, because software is ultimately what ties all of these different pieces together. Now, first is DJI Pilot. I'm very proud to announce that today, DJI Pilot is officially out of beta. Yeah. <laughs> Took some time, but we got there. And not only is it, is it available for Android, we also now have made it available for iOS. And I know this has been something that we've really heard from the community. So you know, we hear you, and we're building this into our pipeline. But it doesn't stop there. Our engineering team has taken the feedback from, uh, that we received during the beta phase, and we've added a number of different unique features into the Pilot app. And with the new version of Pilot, we've added now the mission planning feature as well. So you now have these two different modes that you're able to quickly switch through. Now, with the mission planner, you can very quickly drop several waypoints through the touch of your finger and then execute a semi-automated mission for mapping or even for some basic inspection work. DJI Pilot will also be seamlessly integrated across our entire product portfolio. So that means that you can use it with the Zenmuse X-T2, the Zenmuse Z30, our payload SDKs, and of course, our latest Mavic 2 Enterprise, along with all of its accessories. DJI Pilot also supports deep integration with Flight Hub. That means you're able to live stream your video straight back to your headquarters and coordinate directly with your team. Or once you've completed a mission, you're able to store out all that operation data and then share that across your team as well. And this really helps businesses that are operating large fleets of drones to understand the exact state of each asset out in the field. DJI, uh, DJI Pilot also features improved data security. And we've done this through the addition of the password protection feature. And of course, this supports the existence of the current local data mode as well. Lastly, we have also enhanced the airspace safety features of DJI Pilot. Now, this relies on AirSense, so we're taking the existing ADSB signals that aircraft are broadcasting and then making that available for the user within the user interface. Now, last but not least, we have Ground Station Pro. When Ground Station Pro was first released, it was the most advanced mission planning app out on the market. We've now taken that a step further. With the latest version of GS Pro, you're able to use your DJI account to create a profile. And then you're able to manage a whole fleet of different aircraft, create mission profiles, manage pilots, and also manage the data that you capture on every mission. We've also added cloud functionality. And this allows you to share the data across your different team members. And the, and the fundamental difference that this makes for teams that are out there on the ground is that, for example, if you, are, if you are continually mapping the same construction site every day, but perhaps different operators might be flying on different days and so on, you can now create one single mission profile, and then, that same, then different operators can utilize that. And that means that every time you're capturing your data, you're doing it in exactly the same way. And that type of repeatability, we really see it as a fundamental way to increase the overall operational efficiency of drone work.